So the last one we're going to look at is going to be rotations. So previously we did translations or slide where we just moved it sideways or maybe on a diagonal. We made a rule for that. We did reflections across the axes and we made a, uh, a rule for that. This last one's going to be rotations. Now rotation is something like this. And when we do a rotation, there's a couple things we need to keep in mind is the angle of the rotation, so one degrees. G are you okay? How many degrees did that angle did the object rotate? And the next one's gonna be um, about what? Or about where? Finally, is going to be the direction. So, for example, if I take this one, continue these on, I'm going to say it rotated about this point right here, and it rotated this angle, which was at 120 degrees clockwise. So, this golf tee. Went 120 degrees clockwise about that point. Typically, we have a point like the origin or uh, an ordered pair on a set of coordinates. But these three pieces are critical when talking about the rotations because they're going to be different. If I rotate about somewhere else, so what if instead I rotated about this yellow point 120 degrees? That'd be something like that instead. You can see that this yellow line is clearly different than this white one. Okay, so it's important you talk about degrees, the rotation, the direction, where, fit these three. So let's take a look at how to develop a rule. Now again, these aren't something I typically would memorize. Rather, try to uh, figure it out or derive it from the shape and the structure itself. Now I'll tell you right now, you should be able to do these for 90, 180, or 270 degrees. Figuring out the rule for rotation that is not one of those, 60, 45, 37.2, that's gonna be really, really difficult. It's not something we wanna to get to in this class. So let's go ahead and start with some coordinates, X and Y, and we're going to put our flag, let's just put it on the axes like that, right there, and let's go ahead and put the next one, we'll put it down here. Flag's going to face upwards like that. Okay. This is going to be A, A prime. Lift up a little bit. Okay. So, what we know so far is our rotation is about here and about the origin, and I went 90 degrees clockwise. Now I want to know what the rule is going to be. So let's figure out a rule for this one. Well, to do that, we need some points. So let's just figure out some points here. Let's use this, this piece right here, the nose, I guess we could call it. And let's call this one minus four and eight. So I went negative four, positive eight. Well, this guy over here, because this, distance is negative 4, absolute is positive 4, I know I had to go up. If I went out to the end of the, end of the nose 4, it means I have to go still the same distance, except this way is 4. So this way is 4. And my height from the axis up to here, that's 8 
therefore from the axis to my nose is 8 also. So my points here are 8 comma 4. So I'm going to emphasize that. Up here I went from negative 4, positive 8. Now I have 8, positive 4. So what we're going to do is I'm going to figure out the relationship amongst these so we can go ahead and make a rule. This rule is only valid for 90 degrees about the origin. It will be a different rule if I went 90 degrees about the origin the other way, or 180, or 270, which is 3 quarters the way around. So this might be a time to start this way instead. Negative 4, 8 went to 8 and 4. And let's not forget, this is x, y. Let's see what happened here. First thing I see, I want to hone in on this guy here. My y right here went to x. So my y coordinate right here is now this coordinate right here. Okay? And what did my x do? So my x went from here out to there and it changed sides. So now my x is out here negative. Y negative x. Okay. Now let's check our work. So let's make sure these points make sense. Negative 4, positive 8, that's reasonable. This one over here is going to be 8 over 4 up, that's reasonable. Now let's look at our work. I'm going from negative 4, and this x point now is my y, and it changed signs. So x to negative x in that position, and then y went to the x position. So this is my rule that I developed for this situation. 90 degrees about the origin. Now, you can go ahead and graph some of these out. I encourage you to take some graph paper, make some shapes or kind of clean and pretty, and do that. Take some shape up here and do a 90 degree rotation out here. So your shape looks like that now. Okay. And demonstrate to yourself that the points did this. Okay. So now we've covered the three main pieces of uh, transformations we can get a lot more into it, a lot more nitty and gritty if we start adding them up. You can do things like this. You can have a triangle up here that you slide over to here. Then we do a reflection down to here. Something like that. We can tack them together. But one thing I want you to notice even though I just did one, two, I could also go from here over to here somehow. Maybe, maybe if I just did a rotation, maybe this to here would have been a rotation 180 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't matter. Okay, so there's lots of ways to do the same transformation.